One cold and bitter Thursday in Munich, Germany. Eight great football stalwarts conceded victory. Eight men will never play again who met destruction there. The flowers of English football. The flowers of Manchester. Matt Busby's boys were flying, returning from Belgrade. This great united family, all masters of their trade. The pilot of the aircraft, the skipper Captain Thane. Three times they tried to take off, and twice turned back again. The third time down the runway, disaster followed close. There was slush upon the runway, and the aircraft never rose. It ploughed into the marshy ground, it broke, it overturned. And eight of the team were killed, as the broken wreckage burned. Roger Byrne and Tommy Taylor, who were capped for England's side. And Ireland's Billy Whelan and England's Jeff Bent died. Mark Jones and Eddie Coleman and David Pegg also. They all lost their lives as it ploughed on through the snow. Big Duncan he went to with an injury to his frame. And Ireland's brave Jack Blanchflower will never play again. The great Matt Busby lay there, the father of this team. Three long months passed by before he saw his team again. The trainer, coach and secretary and a member of the crew. Eight great sporting journalists who with United flew. And one of them was Big Swifty, who we shall ne'er forget. The finest English keeper that ever graced a net. Oh, England's finest football team, its record truly great. Its proud success is mocked by a cruel twist of fate. Eight men will never play again, who met destruction there. The flowers of English football. The flowers of Manchester.